Man show. We just had Ann Coulter in uh, Berkeley, California on Wednesday. Yes, fucking unbelievable event. All right, I cut, collected a couple of scars. We have some stories to tell. I wish I could have gotten a couple more people to hear to be here to show you guys what happened, or at least tell you what happened. We do have some footage. We're going to show you the footage. But, wow, Luis was here with me. Oh, it was, it was crazy. I've never experienced that many protesters. The week, is it last week? Uh, ben Shapiro, that was okay, you know. They were pretty tame, you know. I that I didn't expect it. Yeah, you know. And this ticket is $47. So, we, you know, I go in there. It's hundreds of protesters blocking. And I got lost with, 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 with you guys and my friends, other friends. And, I, you know, the police, I asked the police to help. The police just stood there. There's like 20 of them just stood far away. The police say uh, they're waiting for the uh, campus administrations to say something. I say, I need help to go in. The police wouldn't do anything. They say, go, why don't you try to, to go to the back? So I went with some other girls. You know, we go to the back. And then that police uh, say, you cannot go through here. You got to go through the front. So I went around and come back again. And and then and then I try to come through on the side the where, where they have snipers. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I try to crawl. The sniper saying no, you cannot go in there. And it's like and then I kind of just all by myself. And then everybody's gone. And then like and, and I text you. You say you're already in there. I was like damn. You know, I'm just all by myself, and there's like a mob yeah. of people. I didn't want to lose you, but at the same yeah, time, yeah, every time we tried to get through the crowd, yep. they yep. would do everything they could to try and squish you and mush you and like yep. separate you from and everybody. I thought, okay, I'm gonna try, and then I go. I ask where's the the entrance, where the the main entrance. There's only one main entrance, and they have human chains, two layers of human chains, like locking lock, arms, locking arm. You can't go through it. Okay, not just they won't go through. They try to surround me. They surround me and chanting, you know, curse at me, yelling at me, call me racist, call me everything. Yes. And, you know, I just stick my phone, you know, and I just start circling around them. You know, I, I'm filming them. They call me and call me. But I know, okay, after like two, three minutes, it's, they won't let me go through. I say, okay, I just kind of walk away. I walk away and then I keep trying. And somehow I went to the, the other side, on the right side, on the upper side. And, and then there's a girl trying to block me, try to, you know, and then somehow, you know, I kind of sneak in and I started crawling in. The police inside say, no, you cannot go in. You know, I keep trying and then later on they uh, let me go in. You know, they, okay, then I just climb over. Once I climb over, I turn around and then I give faces to these protesters and then the police say, hey, don't instigate them, you know. You know what? Look at That's 500. All they're doing is trying to instigate. 500 of protesters are yelling and screaming. I go in, I crawl inside. The police tell me, "Hey, don't instigate." Once I'm in, tell me the tell me the police tell me don't instigate. You but should be cheering that you did. I did. Everything you went in went through to get in all of us. Yes, Come I on. went in. I was so happy. Why I started happy? cheering, you know. I go in. I, I first thing they ask me, "Do I have a ticket?" I got a ticket. Okay? I give them a ticket, they say, but you got, I have a purse. My purse is too big. So you cannot go in. I'm like, what? After all I did? It's already past 9 o'clock. You know, they started at 9. I got in late, you know. I, I, I actually got there before 8. So the whole time I'm just circling. Okay? So in front with my ticket, okay, they say you cannot go in. I say, the hell with my purse. I grab my phone and my wallet. I say, I don't want the purse then. You know, I'm not going to just give up. So I turn around and then I say, okay, I'm just going to leave my purse. There's no garbage. I leave my purse right in the middle of the, uh, by the tree inside the, the barricade. And then I say, you know, there's so many people watching. Nobody's going to take my stuff. So I just leave my purse over there and, and I walk in, you know, and watch the show, you know. Actually, she's okay, you know. Uh, but it's, you know, she may not be the greatest, but we have a right you know, everyone have a right to speak, right to see her. No one should be able to stop me, you know, and and this is Berkeley. My God, this is one of the yeah. great universities, supposedly. Oh, my God, these students are a brainwash so bad, you know, and, and they're so unreasonable. Yeah. They they just say the same thing. They have no idea. They, they don't allow any argument. 
allow any reasoning. It's about how they feel. It's all about feelings. There's no, no facts. No facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> let's watch your footage really quick. Check out what she went through. It's just insane. Okay. Please comment on this. <laughs> Now, I, I gotta tell my story. Now. That was that was wild. I got in through a, a very funny, funny way. I thought the only thing I can think of for me was like I, I pictured that scene from the Lord of the Rings where the dwarf is. <laughs> he says, "Um, is it? It's it's a long way. <coughs> we can take him. It's a long way. Um, toss me. What?" I cannot make the jump, you'll have to toss me! <coughs> and he tossed. <laughs> so basically, I got up on the barrier. On, there's, so the barrier kind of goes up like this, and then it goes up the rest of the way. So there's a little bit of a footing that kind of gives you like maybe almost a foot up off the ground. And I, and I saw the girl next to me, she got up on the barrier. And I thought, okay, that's a good idea to let me I can get a better view, at least get a better view of the crowd. So I stepped up there, and I was about to start recording, and I started thinking, like, all these people out here, they want to hurt me. And they would gladly push me off of this if they had the chance. So I put my camera away, and I looked at the guy, the buddy in front of me, someone who was with me, and I said, Hey, I need you to do, can you do me a favor? And he's like, What is it? And I said, I want you to push me. He's like, I was thinking about doing that. And then he turns around, and at first I think, I'm thinking, oh, he's, he, thinks I'm, he thinks I'm weird, because he just turns around and he's going to walk away from me now. I was like, oh, this guy wants me to push him over the barrier. He's one of the protesters. No, he was one of us. Oh, okay. So did he get in? Yeah, he got in eventually. He got in kind of, kind of late, but he did get in. So as he, as he turns around, he doesn't walk away, though. He starts backing up, and then as soon as he makes contact with me, like he bumps me, and then he throws his back against me, and I'm just like, perfect. And I, just, I stumble over the thing. Fall backwards. My ass hits the top of uh, top of the barrier. I fall, catch myself on my right. I'm all dirty. I'm dusting myself. Cops all come over me and they help. Oh, are you all right? You all right? I'm like dusting myself wow. up. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm looking over, I'm looking over the barrier. Like I'm like I'm trying to find the perpetrator who pushed me. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got a ticket. <laughs> and they let me in. Yeah. They, first thing they, you got a ticket. I got a ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got to go up. I got up to the stairs and I'm just like. Ah! 
Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Everybody wanted to do that. It was like, don't, in, don't instigate. Come on. I got in like after nine, but yeah. she didn't start until like nine fifteen. Yeah, after like, like 10 after yeah it was good and when, once I was once I was in first I found I found a seat and then I just went out to the lobby and started hanging out in the lobby mm. oh great great oh I should I should I need to write things down damn it okay so I see I see uh, Jeffrey Jeffrey sees me and he tells me something about how Kyle Chapman the cops had to yank Kyle Chapman and pull him over the barrier I guess inside and I was just like Kyle, huh? Kyle's a big dude. Like, how many cops did it take to grab him and get him over the barrier? But it sounded hilarious. <laughs> just, I, I can only picture it. So, speaking of Kyle, though, Kyle is not done, okay? I didn't get to ask him a whole lot of questions, but I did finally, finally just ask him, hey, dude, you know, so what's, what's, what's going on? Because I heard that he was going to be making a major comeback. Um... But then I hear someone else tells me, like, no, he's just done with the movement. So I finally got, actually got to ask Kyle himself what the, what, what's, what's going on. And yeah, he's, he's, he's just being a family man. He's got a son, and he wants to raise his son. How can you... <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Now, of course, this, these, the, these politics, the politics affect all of us, whether you're at home or not. Even his son. But, you know... You gotta tell you, for someone to t find time to be able to do both of that, both of those things, be able to take care of your son and be able to make it to these rallies, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, uh, what, what do you get, what do you say about that? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good for you, Kyle. So, he's taking care of important things. We are getting closer to the election, and the closer we get to the election, the more heated things are going to become. Um, I just more. cannot wait until the truth will come out. You know, the divisions between... Trump supporter versus anti-Trump. Basically, there's there's only two sides right now. There's nothing in between. You know, it's basically absolutely there's nothing in between. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you're just like sleeping the whole time, don't give a damn, you know, which I very feel. But even if they don't give a damn, they listen to their friends, they will still hate Trump. Majority, if they don't really read, you know, actually uh, research on their own or listen to Trump's speech, all of them, especially in Bay Area, are anti-Trump. They just believe ridiculous nonsense. Yep. <clears throat> so, and and I I think the the big difference between Trump and Trump Trump and and Trump haters are the informations between us. Whatever we believe in, we absolutely believe we, we are we are Trump supporter. We believe in Trump, and and the reason they don't believe in Trump, they hate Trump, is because every single informations that they read which is by the mainstream media by the social media by the news by by the radio everything 90% of communications basically all forms of communications including university professors okay these are these are deep state operatives that operated 100 years ago they know this is globalist agenda that they in order in order to really rule the world, they capture their mind. The, the difference between us versus them is how we see things. It's the mind. There's nothing else. We have the same physique. You know, we're brought up in the, the same neighborhood, the same, same similar educations. Well, at least before, you know. Mm -hmm. But is the, it is what they see. The second they wake up, the radio they see, they listen to, the YouTube video they watch, the, the teacher they listen to, the, the, whatever, the YouTube, the TV, the, the, the newspaper they read, those information, those type of communications tell them that Trump is bad, Trump is racist, Trump is the divider, blah, blah, yeah. blah, and they believed in it. They just it's, keep pushing the message. <laughs> right. So yes. It's the information. Media is the enemy I'll tell of you, the, the people. The people who aren't looking for information are the most vulnerable to that. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to be bombarding with, you're going to be bombarded with hearing it here, hearing it there, hearing it here, hearing it there. It's going to be thrown at you, whether yep. you want to look for it or not. And it's up to you to be your own researcher, your own independent uh, journalist, mm -hmm. and and decide, sift through that. You decide what's real and what what is what is not. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't just accept what you're being bombarded with. 
Just because you hear it on the TV and you hear it on the radio and you hear it here and you hear it there doesn't mean that it's true. That just might be what they want to want you to think. Yeah. So anyway, things gonna turn around really quick within the next few weeks, within the next ten days, because the whole impeachment things, yeah. the next phase, right okay, is either they're gonna actually put on the trial. Now, when they do, if they don't, Trump's gonna win. Okay, if they do, now Trump's we're gonna have the Senate's gonna have. The right to subpoena right now, right now is is an inquisitions impeachment inquisitions. They mm. they they can lie through their teeth. It's nothing. It, this is they're not under oath, so that's why they can lie through their teeth. But when the real impeachment trial, okay, everything will change. Okay. Yes. Okay. Look at them. They they arrested. Uh, Roger, R uh, Roger Stone, mm -hmm. okay, and Flint, all based on what? Lying. There's nothing else. Yeah. It's all nothing else about lying. They caught them by by lying because they have to protect the Trump. There's some something about okay. There, there's a whole military uh, intelligence behind this. Okay, this this there's a project underneath behind it. And when they were, when Flint and Roger Stone are put under oath, they have, they have to have some white lie at that time, you know. So, so they kind of lie under oath, and then they take them, and they they charge them because of that. And this is the deep state doing this. Okay, so, but don't worry, we will get them. Okay, both of them will be fine. Okay, mm -hmm. now, when when they. Well, if Trump, if they're gonna go through the impeachment, they're gonna go, and then Trump will have the right to, for the lawyers and 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 subpoena all those witnesses. That's when all the, the evidence will come up. Mm. Well, I, looking forward to that. <coughs> yep. That sounds like a load. Yep. Wow. <coughs> Did you watch the Democratic debate last night? No, I haven't watched that either. So. <clears throat> but I've seen memes already popping up. So this is the lowest rating of the whole yes, world. I heard that on the radio. The lowest rating of all of them. Oh my God, the yeah. Democrats are going to lose so bad. The people aren't interested. They're not interested in anything the Democrats have to offer. I'm sorry. It's either socialist or Trump. Okay, yeah. what do you want to vote for? Socialist. Socialist means communist. Yeah. Socialism Medicare for all. How how do you get Medicare for all? Uh, free education, universal like, health care. Like, what, what type of world, you know, is that? Who, who, who would do that? Yes, if people don't understand that we already have, you know, in America, you can't be turned down, no matter what hospital you walk into. Yeah, you're gonna get a bill, but you can't be turned down. You're gonna be treated. Okay, they can. That's it's illegal. It's, it's, it's a right here in America. You walk into any hospital, they have to treat you. <laughs> so, yeah, and. Personally, I know what it's like to go into a hospital needing some assistance with no insurance. They'll take care of you. There are ways to get it taken care of. Those are like, okay, here, you just fill out this paper, go down the hall, go to this, this place over here, bring it to them, talk to them, blah, blah, blah. Just go through the whole process and file. I, I end up getting my doctor bill reduced by something like 80%, end up paying $40 or something. It's unbelievable. Oh. So, so even then. Can you claim it legal? Then it's maybe you don't yeah, have to pay forty dollars. <laughs> it's people are complaining about nothing, you know. It's, Another thing I want to say is, okay, so we are we, the whole thing about Ukraine. Okay, now they're 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 like accusing Trumps of bribery. Okay, you know, first it was a uh, quick pro quo, and then uh, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck does that bribery. mean. Bribery. <laughs> okay, but in fact. It's already coming out, you know, by the time you look at this, maybe it's already out. It's really, it's Hunter Biden, which is Joe Biden's son, mm -hmm. okay? There's already evidence coming out that he's actually the one that's getting a lot of money, millions from Ukraine. Him and then uh, Car uh, Carrie, Carrie's son, Pelosi's son, and I forgot. There's like four of their sons, all the Democrats. Sons, I actually, actually uh, no, actually, 
a Mitt Romney son. So Mitt Romney is a, Demo a Republican. It's, they both, these are the deep state. Deep state. So they, their sons, they don't put them, themselves, they put their children, okay? And then the money funnel through that. Yeah, that's exactly that's what was going yeah. on with Biden. Yeah, so all these gonna come out. And then, hopefully, now actually, I think part of this whole impeachment thing is a setup. Look, the whole world is watching. Now, you think- Where shouldn't we be looking? Exactly, now, now the thing is, no, the whole world is watching, okay? Some of them want, really, really want Trumps to go to jail, mm -hmm. but they will follow through. Now, when the real stuff come out, the whole world's gonna see it, which is who's the really corruption. The real corruptions mm -hmm. are in the Democrats, are in the deep state, or or the or the uh, the Rhino Republicans. Mm -hmm. Gotta get them out too. Yeah. So, and all of them, you know, will be watching this very soon. That's when everyone will wake up. Yep. Insane. Yep. <clears throat> so, back to Ann Coulter, though. So what did you think of her speech and all that? Because she actually was talking about so many good points that I was talking about with my coworkers just the day before about immigration, about uh, most of the immigration stuff was just great. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> you know, her, her, her point is very strong. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, her immigration point uh, very, very strong. She's kind of very anti-immigrant. She's saying, well, which is kind of okay. Not really anti-immigrant, but she wanted by merit. I, I think it's absolutely great. She's, she, she's saying it very, very strongly, which I, I think is, is good. You know, and, and she also backed Trump up by saying that they were bringing the, the rapist, the, the killer, the murderer in. Yeah, she's saying things like that. But at one time, she was anti-Trump. And yeah. then now she's, because Trump is winning, she know that Trump is doing a lot of great stuff. I was surprised to hear that, that <clears throat> Donald Trump unfollowed her because she wouldn't stop trolling him. She said that. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> because it takes time. You know, she may be really wanting, you know, immigration reform. But now we know it's impossible. I can't even get through with a ticket holder. I can't even get through a bunch of stupid you know, protesters that has no idea what's going on. So how can somebody pass, you know, how can Trump, Trump's amazing with all oppositions, probably 90%, both Democrats and Republicans, the deep state, uh, are, are, you know, are oppositions on him, and he's still able to do such a great job. It's amazing what he did already, yeah. you know? Yeah. So whatever Ann Kohler wants, you know, it's, it's not easy. Look at... Look at all the bills. You know, we, we even though we got a lot of funding, we wanted to do the wall. You know, they kind of stopped it in the last minute. All, all those things, the Democrats stopping it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about something. <clears throat> okay, Ann Coulter keeps saying, and even at the event the other night, that there's no wall. But I feel. I thought there there was, I mean, I haven't seen any, but I thought that there was a lot. To, I've seen video of wall getting put up, so what's the deal? I don't understand. Is there really? wall or is there not wall? I don't understand. There Absolutely, there's, see, that's the that's the fake news. This wall thing. Mm -hmm. I had a bet with a friend. And no matter how much I showed him the proof, he said, no, no, that's, that's, that's not new wall. That's just being repaired. No matter how many times I, I use different proof, most people, because they just listen to echo chamber, gossip newspaper, or whatever, mm -hmm. because they would never ever give Trump the credit. There, there is two type of wall being built. One is built by we build a wall, okay, which is a grassroots, and the uh, uh, U.S. the Army engineer build the wall as well. They're mm -hmm. a little slower because it's government, okay. The words are being built. You know, these words are coming out from our president. Many, many, many times. But it seems like it doesn't matter what President Trump say. The the stupid fake news, they never report it. Or sometimes they report it fake. So, majority of people, you know, if you don't follow Trump, you know, all those people who hate Trump, 
never spend 30 minutes listen to Trump. Mm -hmm. they, they, they listen, they would spend hundreds of hours listen to stupid gossip. If you ever, anyone ever seen this episode with Rush Limbaugh on Family Guy, Brian Griffin says something when Rush Limbaugh asks Brian, have you ever read any of my material? And Brian Griffin says the funniest thing, and it was just so, so smart. He's like, no, but I've read other things that other people have written about the things that you have written. See? And I must say, sir, I do not approve of the things that I've read about that other people have written about the things that you have written. So this is the whole <laughs> Democrat thing. Look at our impeachment. It's he said, she said, she, you know, friend said, you know, the cousin's mother-in-law said. Okay, so that's it. You know, never really hear from, from the actual person. Yeah. And Brian Griffin is voiced by a liberal. By, by, and he he knows this is true. He was basically, I, in my opinion, he's admitting that this is what liberals do. This is what leftists do. I'm sorry, it's what they do. They don't actually research the source. They look at, they take other people's opinions and they get one-sided opinion on it. It's true. I'm, whether you, you can argue that all you want. I'm sorry, I voted for Obama, okay? I get both points of view. I want to know what everybody has to offer. I'm not a liberal. My ex sorry, liberal. cut you off. <laughs> yep. No, yeah. But yeah, you're making good points. Mm -hmm. I, I'm tired of people not... When someone says me, you need to do your research. I don't even know what to say anymore. Except you just put it back in the deck, man. Yeah, I'm tired of I, hearing I, that. And also, there is another law. It's called a Monday. M-A-N-D-T, I think. Mandate. Man, ma, um, man, 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 man. We probably need to cut that out. I'm going to Google it. This this act, okay, is it's a propaganda act that the go I think I think Obama did that to allow the allow propaganda to actually exist so they can act for the yes for for the greater good of of government control, okay. That's big. You were telling me about this the other day. Apparently, yeah, Obama actually passed pa either. Lifted a law or passed a right or something? We're yeah. We're gonna look this up. Yeah. The pop it's propaganda related. It's called man M A N. And it makes yeah, it makes like it so that. that any news media can report whatever the hell they want. It can be completely falsified. Yeah. Lies. Like like what happened and what ABC did with the Kentucky shooting that was supposedly yeah. happening in yeah. Syria. There's and no consequences. No consequences. Exactly. They are protected. Laws are written to protect criminals. Exactly. Do you not understand? Like, when you release footage like that, you're trying to say that there's fucking war going on when it's mm -hmm. literally at a gun store in your backyard and there's nothing. Do you understand, like, the kind of... They don't care. They don't care, yeah. like, the kind of repercussions that could happen look, on the people by lying to them at that level. Look at Epstein's. Ep Ep Epstein's story killed in, what, ABC? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys heard about that. The lady yeah. had everything. She had photos. She had the Clintons. She had everything. Yeah. Who's Epstein? Well, Who's nobody who is throws it away. Let's talk about why. Why did ABC kill Epstein's story? Yes. Why? Why? Why do you think? Because I'm baffled. Because they are the same type of people. They're the protecting people. pedophiles. And, A and ABC are owned by Disney. Disney has charter to go to the pedophile islands, St. James Island. Disney is photo pedophile. Disney is is their tool to get to the girls, the boys, the, the children. Just like the Catholic Church. Just like these charities. You know, it's all Planned Parenthood. Do they plan any parents? Not really. Yeah, I was always that, I always it, thought that it, that was pretty ironic, like Planned exactly. Parenthood. There's like no Planned Parenthood going on there. Very ironic. But I do I I think I might have mentioned this once though. When I when we went in for the abortion, they did actually the people who didn't know what we were there for, they seemed to assume that we were having the kid and they were talking to us as if we were going to have the kid and that we were not there to have an abortion. And that kinda made me feel even more guilty, you know. Yep. And, you know, I, I think I'm pro-choice, but to a certain point, you know, if, if you made a mistake, decide in the first three months, first trimesters, what, what, what takes so long? There's, there should not be any later 
or past the first no. trimester, or even like inf infanticide after the the baby is born. That's ridiculous. This is this is 2019. Like what what type of morality we have right now that it's okay to kill a baby already born just because the the mom don't want it, and because it's part of the abortion. Let's just let it die. Really, me like what type? And we are crying out. We are compassioning for the homeless. No, nobody. Com okay, the the de the Democrats are not compassionate about for the homeless. Did you, you know? hear the story recently of a girl who she was like 18, 19 years old or something, just high school. She got pregnant. She held the baby for all nine months and gave birth and kept kept it quiet to everybody. And she actually fucking killed the baby like as soon as it was born, crushed its skull, lit the baby on fire, and then buried it in her yard. And she was found not guilty on all charges, not guilty. It was a, it was a living baby, fully grown, oh, alive. Know. Yeah. And she says I didn't want I didn't want the baby to ruin my perfect life. Wow. An unbelievable story. Like I couldn't believe it. Like she. All charges dropped. See, this is what they want, okay? If if Trump is not here, we're very, very lucky. We have we have our greatest president on earth. If we didn't have Trump, things will get ten times worse. We we will the trend the trend you will rule, okay? Yeah. I mean, like they they right now it's oh, the tranny, you know they they're. They're introducing sex educations, sex possessions for children. What? How to masturbate. Ain't no sex for children. And Hold on. LG, Hold on. Yeah. Where? It's, it's crazy. That's why. Okay. And the, the media don't talk about it. Okay. There, a lot of these um, education boards right now, there's fold of parents. Parents are upset. I don't have young kids. Okay. The parents who have young children, all in the school board complaining. Look at their textbook. It's ridiculous.